Yo, what is up guys? So for today we are talking about the ever evolving world problem that I think Bungie has in their hands. So I think one of the main issues I have with this whole state of thinking is the fact that I think I think this season has the best offer for you to get a god roll on a weapon that you want. You have the Vex Offensive, that's very rewarding. You have the Ikora weapons. You have the Vex Invasions on the moon. Like, you have many ways to acquire these weapons and armor. And it's amazing. I love it. And I'm not trying to give Bungie shit for that because that's amazing. You guys really nailed it off the park. And I hope you guys keep doing something like this because it really promotes people to farm for weapons that they want and roles that they want. So I want to make it clear the Vex Offensive and all the places that you can earn the rewards is amazing, fun and rewarding for the first time in a while. Here comes the really big but, but because of this whole every evolving world thing. It's all leaving. It's all leaving. So if you want that pulse rifle, that scout rifle, that hand cannon, or the SMG, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to farm a lot. Especially if you're like looking for a specific god roll. Like let me give you an example. At Hortative, which is the pulse rifle, if I remember correctly, that's the only one that that's the only 390 um, RPM pulse rifle that can drop with what is it? Feeding Frenzy multi-kill clip, if I remember correctly. And that's a little uh, wild because now I immediately have a few rolls in my head. Right. Maybe I want... Maybe I want like full bore with multi-kill clip, multi -kill clip and Feeding Frenzy and maybe extended mag or accurized rounds or ricochet rounds just for one weapon that's just for one weapon that's not even including like the scout rifle which i think is really strong and i think that one comes with another like only that one comes with a, like a specific role if i remember correctly yeah it comes with no distractions which is really cool for a for a, a scout rifle and i don't know about the other weapons unfortunately but they're also really good. I don't think the hand cannon is that good in my opinion, but that's because I just, I really don't fuck with 180s anymore. But I know the SMG is really good. I use it just randomly. And this is coming from a guy who has like two really good SMGs, not one including Recluse, but another one like the Callus Mini Tool, a really good roll on it as well. So for me to use another SMG says a lot. And I think my main gripe with this whole situation is because I got one gun. Because I got one gun made me think about this whole situation. So I ended up getting a god roll spare rations. Like, a god roll. And I started losing my shit a little. <clears throat> so I ended up getting rangefinder with rapid hit, with ricochet rounds or light mag, and then full bore or arrowhead break but obviously full bar. but still i think this is an amazing roll and i got a uh, reload speed as my masterwork and i absolutely love this roll i love rangefinder because of that zoom and honestly i'm probably just never gonna have ricochet rounds i'm probably just gonna have light mag because i have enough range stats that i'm good i'm good i would i like the light mag more for it so I think this is an amazing role and I I almost cried when I saw this because I love spare rations. I've loved spare rations ever since it came out and that's when it made me think like I was like man like finally I got a, like, a god roll spare rations. It only took me what season of opulence and then shadow keep two seasons two and it made me think I was like damn dude it took me that long to get one. And then it made me think, shit, how is it going to be for the other weapons? Like, let's say the 
the pulse rifle that I was talking about, that at Hordative, how long is it going to take me to get that god roll? Like, yes, I can farm it. There's multiple ways to farm it. But, do you know the chances of me getting the god roll that I want? I'm not bitching about the chances of getting a god roll. Because I know the chances of a god roll. I know how lucky I am. I know how lucky people need to get. Because I've been playing Destiny since Destiny 1. I know. My issue is that they're taking it away after Shadowkeep. That's my issue. Because after that, well, fuck. What the fuck? Like, that's, that's my issue. That I don't want to just not be able to farm them anymore. I don't want to wait until a new season for me to farm those because I have I'm already going to be farming something else. <clears throat> That's my biggest issue is the fact that Bungie I understand Bungie's like philosophy of like, oh yeah, every evolving world, like all the yeah, I get that, but <sighs> when you have a situation like this where you guys keep releasing seasons with cool cool weapons at least i think like two weapons are cool in the in the vex offensive even even though there's still reskins like if they come with stuff that don't come with any other weapon i'm gonna want it i'm gonna want it because just the for the, because the collector in me wants it but in my opinion i don't think i don't think taking away an, an, an activity or our way to get it is the answer i think I think a good like middle ground would be for Ikora to still sell the bounties after after it's over. I think that would be a great like middle ground where it's like we have to take the we have to take the activity out guys. Like we need to save space even though I think that's a a dumb reason, but we need to take the space out guys. Like it's getting too big even though WoW's been fucking whatever. So we need to take the we need to take the activity away to save like the minuscule amount of fucking uh, megabytes. That way we can save more for new activities coming in the future, which brings a whole other thing where it's like, if you guys keep taking away activities, it doesn't mean that I'm gonna have to care for them because honestly, you guys are probably gonna do lackluster activities. Not saying Vex Offensive is, but I mean Vex Offensive was the first one we had. You guys really had to make it at least good. But I'm really worried about the next ones, if they're going to be good or not, or they're just going to be like, whatever. But, that being said, the biggest issue is just that you won't be able to farm them anymore. Like I said, I think Ikora still selling the bounties for the weapons is a good middle ground. And for us to farm it easier, I think they should cut the kills by half. Instead of 50, like 25, that way we can farm them faster. Hell, I would be okay with it if like we had some sort of like device where we could talk to Ikora and then she could just give us the bounties through there. But I know that's probably outlandish to ask for. So can we at least stack the pulse rifle? Or like I'm not I'm honestly just gonna go for the pulse rifle. But can we at least stack the the bounties? But like they don't activate at the same time. Like I have to get like 50 or 25 kills with each bounty and then complete it and then it starts all over again i would be okay with that like <clears throat> there needs to be a way where i can farm for these weapons because if i don't if i can't then what's the point especially for people who don't have that much time or like just are burned out like you're saying that me getting burned burnt out of the game i'm, get, I'm gonna get punished because like i'm sorry guys like i i love destiny but i just can't keep playing the same content over and over and over and then and then Bungie telling me like this is new content it's not new content I've been to the moon before the whole spice of like oh we're back on the moon really wore off on me on the first week because I've been here already there's not that many changes people saying no it's enough change for me to feel like it's a different moon it's the same moon bro bro like it's the same moon like what are you talking about it's literally just red and then like a few other things here and there like i don't know me personally i just i don't like the whole every evolving world philosophy that they have i think it brings up a lot more issues than it really should have like I don't know that's that's my thing like i i think vex offensive is a lot of fun and i think it should stay 
I'm not saying I'm fully in love with it like like I was with the Menagerie, but the whole reason I gave the, I gave a shit about the Menagerie was because the rewards were amazing and it was actually a lot of fun. But when they nerfed it, I was just like whatever. But honestly, that's just how I feel. It would have been even worse if they gave us more than four weapons, which in hindsight they should have, honestly. But whatever. But it's just I don't know. It's disappointing. I'm a little sad because, like I said, that pulse rifle. I really do want to farm it, but I don't want to play this right now. I'm I'm just enjoying my time with other games. So. Let me know what you guys think. I know this was a little ranty, but I, I've been wanting to do this video for a while because I feel like the ever-evolving world is just, I think it's flawed. But that's just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. You guys enjoy, if you guys still enjoying Shadowkeep? I, I get on off and on. I did the, like you guys know, I did the dungeon raid guy thing. And it was fun, it was a lot of fun. And yeah, pretty much just, I play when I want and I play with and I don't when I don't so that's it so don't forget to subscribe follow me on my social media outlets link in the description below also I will probably have like a few never mind it's we're past like 11 minutes uh, I'm gonna try to make my videos a little longer so that way the algorithm algorithm uh, is a little bit more on me so to speak because uh, I don't make videos daily I try to post videos daily, but it's pretty fucking hard. But other than that, I'll see you guys later.